Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Trends Tech. So right now, I am recording through the Vision Pro, but I have something a little special going on. Now, one of the issues that you'll run into with like this whole screen recording thing is that if you try to screen record on the Vision Pro, then sometimes it won't let you connect to anything else. It's really weird. Sometimes it's really fickle. But the other issue with screen recording is that if you're screen recording and you start doing a lot of stuff, the screen recording will literally just stop. So sometimes it's ruined videos or it's messed things up. So I kind of found an answer to that, but it's it's a little extra. <laughs> so let's say I'm looking here and let me go to one of my apps. Uh, let's go to Twitter. Now I have Twitter up and let's say I just, you know, want to screen record this and I don't want the screen recording to crash. Well, basically what I'm doing here is I am casting, you know, basically through airplay from the vision pro, but not to my Mac. If I cast directly to my Mac, the screen is going to turn off and I can't do anything with the Mac as far as extra recording or anything like that. So what I'm doing is I'm casting from my Vision Pro to my Mac Mini, which is back there. So the stream goes from the Vision Pro to the Mac Mini through AirPlay. Oh, I'm sorry, the um, Apple TV. The Apple TV has an HDMI out connection so that hdmi is coming into an elgato cam link which is an hdmi to usb a input going into my dongle down here and that is also going into the macbook via usb c so how am i capturing this i'm using obs to detect the input from the cam link and using it as a camera, and I have my source selected on the uh, on the OBS interface and whatnot. So I am recording the feed, which is being airplayed <laughs> into an Apple TV, going through HDMI, coming into the MacBook, recording on OBS. And so when you guys rewatch this, this this is the setup that's required. So Vision Pro, Apple TV. HDMI cord, dongle, MacBook Pro, OBS to be able to record this. So what, where does this make sense for anybody? So this would make sense, I would at least believe educational-wise, like you were trying to teach somebody something and you wanted to record this and let's say you didn't want to have to worry about anything. You don't want, you don't want to have to worry about the, uh, the screen recording crashing Let's say if you're somebody that has a Vision Pro that only has 256 gigs of storage, now you don't have to worry about the storage because the only storage you have to worry about is what the MacBook storage is and recording into that. And even with a MacBook, you can record into like an SSD or another place or whatnot, so it's not all stuck on here. You also don't have to worry about airdropping the footage from your Vision Pro to another iPhone or to a Mac, it's all recorded on the Mac. So that's part of the benefit of it. The other benefit to this is for anybody that wants to live stream. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into OBS. I'm going to add a source. Let's go video capture device. And I want to make a new source. And I want to select my FaceTime camera on my MacBook. So right now, you guys can see me on this recording. So now, if I wanted to live stream like this, I could have myself down in this corner, right? So you guys can see me right here. And I could, you know, be showing what I'm looking at. So this might be a little hard to see, but if I get closer, there's a little bit of an inception thing going on. But now I have a view of me and I have a view of what's going on 
on my screen into my MacBook. And if I wanted to live stream like this, I could. So maybe I might be, do a live stream later or do a live stream tomorrow, basically showing this off. But I think this is kind of a cool thing. So, you know, what I, what I mean about education, I, I don't know. Let's say I'm a teacher and I want to do stuff hands-on, you know, hey, here, well, let me get this out the way. Like, hey, here's an Apple TV remote and this is how it works and blah, blah, blah. You know, just different stuff. And I still have my, you know, gestures and all that stuff available. But, uh, you know, hey, Apple TV remote. It's got a USB-C. Maybe this is another way to review things while wearing this. I don't know. I'm trying to think of different ways to have this be a bit be a benefit as opposed to just saying, oh, well, it's just, uh, you know, yada, yada, such and such. So it's it's only used for TV. But these these are the different ways I'm thinking about using this. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, is this something cool? Is this something that you guys are interested in? Uh, do you want to see more on this? Does this even make sense? So, all right, y'all, take it easy. See you in the next video. Peace.